CH4, methane. Let's draw its Lewis structure. You're going to need to know how many valence electrons each one brings. Carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons. I'm going to write four here for myself. And I'm going to add on, oh, I have four hydrogens. How many does each hydrogen bring? It's in column one, so it brings one electron each. That means four and four ones make eight electrons total that I have to deal with in this structure. I like putting the thing that can make the most bonds in the center, that's carbon. Carbon likes to have four bonds total. And I like putting my other atoms around it symmetrically. There we go. Check. Now I need eight electrons, but let's single bond everything together first, just so that we have a molecule to start with. Uh, there's two, there's four, there's six, there's eight electrons. Oh, that's it. That's all I was supposed to bring here. Uh, this carbon has a full octet because it has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. And each hydrogen is happy with just two electrons around each one. It's an exception to the octet rule. Uh, there is nothing more special that is happening here. This is the Lewis structure and you're done. If you're wondering why it's that easy, it's because carbon is bringing four electrons, but it wants a full eight for the octet rule. And each of the hydrogens itself brings that one extra electron, and it makes a covalent bond by sharing one electron each. That hydrogen donates its electron, carbon chips one in, they each chip in an electron to make this single bond, they each pitch an electron in to make that single bond, single bond, single bond, and so you end up with one carbon in the center, four single bonds, and that is it. Donzo McGrunzo. Best of luck to you.